Wilder's house? I do. That's amazing. It's awesome. Wow. Yeah, that's exactly what you'd expect. Did you request that the buyer not? Yeah, that's a requirement. Oh, oh a requirement. That's, yeah. that's a good requirement. Yeah. yeah. In, that, in that case, in that house. Yeah, it'll probably sell for less, but still, I don't care. Oh, he's a legend. Yeah, You'd awesome. want his soul. Yeah. You'd want his essence yeah, in it's, the building. It, it's And it's there. That's a real quirky, Is it? quirky house, yeah. Cabinets are like hand, handmade, and, and they're like odd shapes, and the, the, there's like doors to nowhere, and strange like car doors and tunnels and really? odd paintings on the wall. Did you ever live in it? It's very quirky. <laughs> I did live in it briefly, yeah. What's a dream uh, house for Elon Musk? Like some Tony Stark type shit? Yeah, definitely. You gotta have the, the, the dome that opens <laughs> up with the, the stealth helicopter and that kind of thing, you know? Yeah. For sure. Does it really make sense for me to spend time designing and building a house and I'd be real like OCD on the little details? Should I be allocating that time to getting us to Mars? Uh, I should probably do the latter. <laughs> So, you know, like what's more important, Mars or a house? I like Mars, okay. When you're programming artificial intelligence or when you're working with artificial intelligence art, are they specifically trying to mimic the developmental process of a human brain? In a lot of ways. There's some ways that are different. Um, you know, an, an analogy that's often used is like, you know, we, we don't make a submarine swim like a fish, mm. uh, but we, take the principles of, of how, you know, what, what it, of hydrodynamics and apply them to the submarine. I've always wondered as a lay person, do you try to achieve the same results as a human brain, but through different methods, or do you try to copy the way a human brain achieves results? I mean, the, the essential elements of an AI neural net are very similar to a human brain neural net. Like the thought of programming something that is eventually going to be smarter than us, that one day it's going to be like, why did you do it that way? Like when, when artificial intelligence becomes sentient, they're like, oh, you tried to mimic yourself. Like this so much better process, cut out all this nonsense. There, like I so said, there are elements that are the same, but just like also like an aircraft does not fly like a bird. Right. You know, it doesn't flap its wings. The way the wings work and generate lift is the same as bird. If someone ultimately does get a Neuralink installed, what will take place? Basically it implanted in your skull. So it would be flush with your skull. So you basically take out a chunk of skull, replace, put the Neuralink device in there. You'd put the, the electrode, you'd insert the electrode threads very carefully into the, the brain. Um, and it, it can interface basically anywhere, in, any, anywhere in your brain. Um, so it could be something that uh, you know helps cure, say, uh, eyesight, like give you returns your eyesight, even if you've like lost your optic nerve type of thing. Uh, could, really? Could, yeah, yeah, absolutely. Hearing, let's see. Um, I mean, pretty much anything that w where that, that it, it could, in principle, fix almost anything that is wrong with the brain, um, and it, it could, it could um, restore limb functionality. So if you've got to uh, interface into the motor cortex and then an implant that's say uh, that's like a microcontroller uh, in, in your muscle groups, uh, you you could then create a sort of a neural shunt that restores somebody who's a quadriplegic to full functionality, like they can walk around to be normal. Whoa! Say one inch diameter piece of skull with uh, this Neuralink device um, and that has a battery and a, and a Bluetooth and an inductive charger. Then you also got to insert the electrodes. Uh, so the electrodes are very carefully inserted with our, our robot that we developed. Uh, that's it's, you know, very carefully putting in the electrodes and avoiding you know, and any veins or arteries. Uh, so it's, 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 you know, it doesn't create trauma. So through this one inch diameter yeah. device, Electrodes be inserted and they will find their way like tiny wires basically tiny wires tiny wires And they'll find their way to specific areas of the brain to stimulate No, you literally put them where, where they're supposed to go. Oh Okay, well AI symbiosis You'll probably Want to do something like that symbiosis is a scary word when it comes to AI. It's optional <laughs> <laughs> I would hope so. Yeah, it's just I mean once you enjoy the Dr. Manhattan lifestyle, once you, once you become a god, seems very, very unlikely you're going to want to go back to being stupid again. I mean, you, you literally could fundamentally change the way human yeah. beings interface with each other. Yes. Yes. You wouldn't need to talk. <laughs> <laughs> I'm so scared of that, but so excited about it at the same time. Is that weird? Whatever, whatever happens when Neuralink goes on, online and then we slowly start to adapt to this new way of being mm -hmm. where we don't use our muscles anymore 
We have this gigantic head. We can talk without words. You, you could also save state. And save state? Save state, like save your brain state, like like a saved game in a video game. Whoa. <laughs> like like if you want to yes. emotions. Everything. 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 And play it back. And Do you, you think and, and you'll be able fact, to share? Edit it. edit it. Yeah. So you can change your past? You could change what you think was your past, yeah. Well, so if you had like this, a traumatic This whole thing right now could be a replayed memory. It could be. Yeah. It may be. What's the odds of this being a replayed memory? If you had a guess. It's more than 50%. There's no way to assign a probability with accuracy here. Right. But roughly. If you just had a just gut instinct. Well, I don't have a neural link in my brain, so I'd say right now 0%. Versions of human beings, especially when you consider symbiotic relationship to artificial intelligence, it will be unrecognizable. That one day we'll be so far removed from what this is, we'll look back on this the way we look back now on you know simple, simple organisms that we evolved from, and that it won't be that far in the future that we do have this this view back. Well, I hope consciousness propagates into the future and gets more some sort of a direction where you're trying to improve things. You're always going to move into this new place where you look back in the old place and go, oh, I was doing it wrong back then. So this is an accelerated version of that. Yeah. A super accelerated version of that. I mean, you don't always improve, but you can aspire to improve. You can aspire to be less wrong. Yeah. This is like, I think a good, the tools of physics are very powerful. Like, just assume you're wrong and your goal is to be less wrong. I don't think you're going to if, if succeed every day in being less wrong, but you know, if you're going to succeed in being less wrong most of the time, you're doing great. That's a great way of putting it. Aspire to be less wrong. 